All right, today I'm going to show you about the Disassemble tool, which is a new scripted plugin for Para 3D 4.0. Um, a few caveats about the plugin. One, you must be dealing with geometry um, that deals with only planar surfaces. Um, again, this is a beta version, so it's still under trial, um, and you'll probably be experiencing some bugs, but we will be working to improve it continuously, but we'd love to hear your feedback, so um, test it out, um, tell us what you think, and we will um, continue improving. Um, for the tutorial, we are going to show you how to add material thickness to a geometry, and then go over a series of different joint types. Here is a butt joint. We're going to show you how to reverse those butt joints. This is a box joint, and then also give you the option of changing the dimensions or dealing with joints specifically with, uh, with numbers. Okay, we are going to go over the details of the disassemble tool. Um, I just have a editable poly um, as my base geometry. If yours is not editable, you can just go to the modifier uh, tab and um, just add it here from the edit poly. Um, again, uh, the disassemble tool will only work um, if all your surfaces are planar. Um, and then, uh, all right, let's get started. So first thing I need to do is add this geometry into Para. So I can go over to the uh, Para toolbar and I want to assign a controller. So I will select assign controller, hit create. And now I have a node by default. So I'll slide this over. Okay, and now we're going to go up to the Add tab, Para, and then the Disassemble tool. All right, and then I'll add, expand um, on the Disassemble tool and connect it to the geometry. Um, now I've selected the Disassemble tool and now I have all my options available. So here's where I can add material thickness, I can deal with the tolerance in between joints, and then I can also choose the joint type. So I'll just start by adding two centimeters of material thickness. I'll leave the tolerance at default, and I'll start with a mitered butt joint. So I've selected all my options, now I just want to disassemble. So you can see that um, the disassemble uh, tab has expanded, and you can see the geometry has uh, updated. So I'll just go up to the toolbar and select my uh, pair of members. W to move. Slide this out to the side. And if I zoom in, and I'll select a specific member. And now you can see that all the joints are mitered and they're working together really nicely. Okay, so for the next option um, I will try the um, a basic butt joint. Now if I leave update and replace selected it will then update this uh, this member here and I'll lose it. So I'm gonna uncheck this so we can see the progression of uh, disassemble options and then I will just disassemble now I'll go back to the selection and drag this over. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, we have a basic butt joint intact, and it's looking pretty good. Let's just say that I wanted to um, reverse the butt joint, so I wanted these legs to extend past the tabletop. I can do that pretty easily, and this is why it's, uh, it comes in handy to use the, uh, the edit poly geometry. So the first thing I'll need to do is select the geometry, um, go to the modifier, um, select the edge, and now I'm going to select the edges that I'd like to reverse. So I will select the top edge, holding down control. I will select all four edges. I will now adjust the basic butt joint to reverse. I'll disassemble, reselect my geometry, and we'll slide this over and see how it differs. So if I zoom in, now you can see that the butt joint has reversed. So essentially what this means is I can I have more control over the joints uh, locally or I can just deal with it globally. And we can shift this thing over and we can see that the joints are all working nicely and I've only adjusted the tabletop. So the last joint I will go over is the uh, box joint. 
and I'll keep this unchecked. Disassemble now. Again, go over and select my geometry. And we'll slide this out. And you can see that I have a box joint with um, pretty large boxes. Um, what Para allows you to do is to adjust the number um, within uh, a given edge, or you can adjust the size depending on what you're looking for. So I could adjust this number to five, or I can just deal with the, the size of the box directly. So I'll make this six centimeters, and then I'll disassemble. Select the geometry, slide it out, and now we can see the difference. So again, um, Para allows you um, greater control over the amount of boxes along a specific edge or the, um, the distance, um, which you can also specify along a specific edge. Um, in the next video, we'll show you how to uh, take these members and lay them uh, lay the individual parts on a planar surface for, uh, and I don't think it will get you get you um, ready for fabrication.